I'm going to replace the screen in my HP EliteBook 8540W. And I brought with me a small set of screwdrivers, a little white bowl to put everything in so that I don't lose it on the floor here, so it doesn't go rolling on the floor. The screen. And I've got to remove these rubber nubs to get at the screws that allow me to take this frame off. So I'm going to start by prying these out. And once they're out, I'm going to put them in the little bowl. All right, so it's the ones down here that don't have any screws behind them. The ones up here do have screws behind them. And I'm fishing out the little remnants of the glue that kept those rubber nubs in place. I'll replace that with some kind of rubber cement. Now I've got to actually remove the screws. They are a Phillips head screw. They're small. Not having any trouble getting the screws out. They're coming right out. They're not like super tight or anything so that I'm risking stripping the Phillips head screw. They're tight enough to hold it, but they're not so tight that they won't come out. And that should take care of all the screws that I need to get at for this cover. Next is taking this cover off. Okay, one more little piece that I got. I, picked, I just grabbed this from my tool bench. It's a little plastic spatula. I could run a screwdriver along the edge to separate this plastic thing, but I was afraid if I weren't real steady handed, it would scratch the case up. So I just pulled this, it's plastic, it won't bother, and I'm just sliding it into the groove, and that's causing the piece of plastic to let go. Okay, so it's off. That actually took longer than the screws. All right, there are metal rods or metal posts here on the side. And there are screws holding the screen there. They're small screws. Looks like there's four piece and they're much shorter screws than the ones from the front plate. Okay, and it's out. So, there's a little connector here, and there's some tape over it. I'm actually going to just keep the tape so I can put it over the new one. I'll just stick it over here on the side of the table. And this connector, oh, there's another piece of tape on the connector too. There's two pieces of tape. And then there's a protective cover of some kind over a small circuit board on the back of the screen. There it goes, and the connector is actually out. Okay, there's a transparent piece of uh, covering over the circuit board. I don't want you to take that off. They actually just want you to slip. There's a, the connector is sitting above it. So they just want you to put the connector into that. And I'm just going to peel this tape back a little more so I can get a little better grip on the connector. 
and push it right on in where it belongs. There it goes, snapped right in. I'm putting that tape over. And then I have the other piece of tape, which covered this before. Kept that down, I'm putting that on too. And now this is ready to go back, or go in to its little home. Doing the top screws first because just easier for me to see them and then it should line up. Again, it's the tiny screws, not the, the big ones. Well, we're talking about a laptop, so the screws aren't very big anyway. Okay, screws are all in. Just gotta line this up again with a laptop case and put the screen back on. There's some glue still there. screws in on the corners right now and then go around the other sides and put the rest of those in. All right, nice and tight. So I imagine what everybody's going to want to see is, does it actually boot? So the tools that I used once again, we're jeweler screws, screwdrivers, and um, these, and a little spatula, it doesn't have to be that big. Plastic, so it doesn't hurt anything. Okay, I'm gonna put the nubs in later, just gonna make sure that it boots up right now. Ah, there's a good sign, I see a screen. Starting windows. Here's the old one that somebody in the house accidentally sat on. Not me. And there we go. Nice and clean. Screen's nice and bright. Looks good. And everything's hunky-dory. So don't be afraid to do it. I don't have any special knowledge. I just read on how to do it and I looked at somebody else's video. I will have to edit this down a little bit because they don't want it this long and um, it will telescope some of the activities that I undertook but we're in good shape. Thanks for watching.